What's up guys? My name's Tony and tonight we're going to be doing some light painting. What is light painting? Light painting is opening the shutter on your camera long enough to use a light source, like a flashlight, to draw in the darkness and effectively paint in midair or add interesting new effects to things already in the picture. After you finish drawing with your light source, the shutter of the camera is closed and the picture is complete. This is a fun thing to do by yourself or with friends. What will I need to light paint? To do light painting, you need a couple of things. First of all, a camera, digital, or film. I prefer digital. Next, of course, a tripod. Keep your camera steady. And lastly, a light source. Flashlight will work, or if you happen to have it, a strobe unit from a camera. In the shots that we have, I used a strobe unit just because it's very bright. The brighter, the better. The camera that you use has to have a manual mode. This allows us to extend the shutter speed beyond what is normally used to take a picture in the daylight. Either film or digital, again, will work as long as you can select the shutter speed. Most modern digital cameras have this ability as M on the dial. You can see on my camera here that it lets us adjust the f-stop as well as the shutter speed. And what you want to put it on is the B mode for bulb. This allows us to let the shutter be open as long or as little as we want. Basically, when you touch the button, it opens the shutter, and then when you touch it again, it closes it. If you don't have a remote for your camera, a good alternative is to use the self-timer. Usually it looks like a little clock somewhere on your display. You just set it, and then when you're ready to take the picture, press the button, and you can run over to the spot where you're going to do your light painting. When you're doing light painting, it's extremely important that the camera stays steady in one position. If you have a tripod, it'd be good to use. But not everybody has a tripod, so you could just use what's around, like a table or a stair. When choosing a light source, you don't necessarily have to have the highest end flash that you need. You can also use things such as small LED lights and flashlights. They work just as good. A great idea is to put a piece of colored cellophane over the top of this, and that way you can get colors in your light painting. The last thing you need when you light painting is, of course, the dark. As close as these photos are to begin with, you can add even more artistic style to them by using post-production software. There are lots of great tools available for this, whether you want to invest in a program like Photoshop or a free alternative like Google Picasa. Here we are using Adobe Lightroom to increase the glow, dim the background, and apply interesting color effects. When you 
print them out, they're a really good way to make personal greeting cards. They're also really great for scrapbooking. And it's a nice way to send a personal message. 